Hi, I'm Igor Sandman. I'm a pixel artist. I make a pixel art piece every day. I follow the pixel dailies on Twitter, and today the topic is drill. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not super inspired, but uh, as I explained yesterday, when that's the case, I try to find little things that I want to explore with this piece. And here, I think, but first, I know that I really like um, blue, uh, yellow colors and orangey colors. So I will use that as my color. And it's um, evocative of construction work, so it's uh, probably a good idea to use that. So I'm probably going to use this for my uh, shade or shadow and this for my lights. Maybe I will push the shading towards this color to create some contrast. So that's one thing to look forward to, using my, my favorite color. And then I will try and focus on the, the, hmm, the perspective, maybe. I don't want it to be... Very, when I'm working perspectives, I don't like to be too um, geometric about it, I guess I should say. I like to make it very uh, organic. Most of the time it's not very accurate, but I'm not looking for accurate. I'm looking for something that's full of life, you know? So instead of uh, creating my perspective like, you could do it like this, you know what I mean? I would try and create weird lines like that and try to make them work. So that's what I want to do here. And uh, for, <clears throat> I will need a gray, probably. So I guess I should use this for the shadow and this for the lights. And then there is a metal uh, material. Usually, I don't I don't use blobs of colors like this before I work. I don't know why I wanted to do it today. I will use this for my shiny material. So let's do this. Also today I wanted to talk about um, the reason why, the, the, um, the philosophy behind my, my personal challenge of making a pixel art piece every day. Because I've been, I've been doing this for six months now and I never talked about it, why I'm doing this. So it might be the opportunity to do it. Uh, it's first, uh, my idea is to create, to, f to follow Pixel Daily and make one one pixel art every day for an, for an entire year, okay? I guess you got that. Um, w the reason why I wanted to do it, well, there's many reasons actually. One is to show my pixel art, because usually I'm working on either for a client for, or for my own games, and I, I'm not always in a situation where I can uh, show my work. So it's a good opportunity to show what I'm doing. Also, another reason is uh, to practice. I learned a lot over the course of these past six months. I've tried, I've tried many styles that I usually don't use. Uh, I've, I've went over creating a new color palette. I would have probably have never done that without Pixel Ladies. So, two main reasons. Uh, wait a minute, I'm not going in the right direction here. I should, it's not easy to talk and paint at the same time. Uh, let me start from scratch. And I will focus on my pixel art for a second and then I'll get back to the discussion because this part is uh, crucial. I'm trying to create this tube, but making it uh, oriented like this on the camera, like this. So slightly towards the camera. I'm trying to slightly have these two lines converge. 
and it's, it might not be enough. Maybe I should go so far as to doing this. I don't know. Mm, it could work. All right. So where was I? Uh, the two reason, the two main reason why I'm doing this is uh, showing my pixel art, getting people to know me, um, and making some progress with my pixel art, trying to improve. Um, I've I've decided from the start that I would to to uh, to reach the, the first goal, which is to show my work. I decided I wanted to post it uh, in as many places as possible. So every day I'm posting it on my Twitter, on my Facebook. I'm going on my DeviantArt, my Tumblr, and finally um, on Reddit, our pixel art, the, the pixel art subreddit. And I've got a great response from people on all those platforms. It's great. A lot of uh, likes and uh, shares. Ultimately, I'm not after likes, likes and shares and whatnot, but it's a good indica indicator of what people think, I guess. So that's why why I'm still paying attention to likes and uh, shares. But shares are important because if people share, more people see my work. So that's important. There's a, I guess, a direct uh, benefits from people sharing my work, and you guys have been sharing my works a lot. And I would never, I, I will never thank you enough for all your support. It's great. And it's funny to see how uh, the the response is very different on all these, those different platforms. People are not looking for the same thing. People who are on Facebook are looking f are, aren't interested in the same pixel art as people on Twitter. It's very interesting to see. Um, what I've been doing also, uh, when I post on Twitter, you have probably noticed that I uh, always mention uh, the, the numbers of my pixel arts. Like today will be 184 over 365 pixels. The reason why I do that is uh, to show, it might not be obvious, the reason why I do that is uh, to show people who are looking at my pixel art that there is a guy out there who is doing one every day. And my hope is people see that and try it themselves. I hope to inspire people to do the same. I didn't invent it, right? A lot of people do that. But uh, I think it's important to, to mention, well, to me it's important to mention that I'm doing this challenge. So hopefully some other people try it. And I know it worked because other people are, are trying it and it's great. I always, uh, enjoy seeing other people do the same thing as I'm doing. One, one pixel art every day. It's the, to me, it's the best way to get a lot of pixel art out there, you know? I love watching a lot of pixel art. I'm passionate about it, so the more, the more we are, the better, right? <clears throat> Here I'm trying to force the perspective with a very easy method. All I'm doing is placing dots, right? I will reproduce this on the side so I can go over it step by step. 
I, I place one dot and then the one which is on top of it and smaller in this instance I place it I, I place it slightly to the left so it gives the illusion that they are they are overlapping because they are in front of one another and if I shift them to the side it looks like I'm creating a perspective with that without actually putting much thought into it right it's an easy way to to work can do this with it's easy with a uh, sphere well with disk like this because uh, I don't have to worry about if it was a square or a cube I should say I would have to worry about the angle right I would have to do this and then on top of it same thing I would have to do this it's less obvious with spheres it's easy I'm I'm considering I'm considering these to be spheres that I place on top of one another anyways where was I uh, yeah the numbering thing so I explained why I think it's important I want to try and get as many people as possible to do these I'm constantly pushing uh, pixel dailies as if it was my own uh, project that I want people to follow, you know what I mean? I want a lot of people to do it. I have no direct interest in it. Just I want more people to post pixel art online. I want to see what you guys do. Just like for the same reason, you would want as many game as many games as possible to exist to be released. Because you, if you like indie games, you want a lot of people to develop indie games. Same thing here. You know, I want a lot of people to do what I'm doing, posting pixel art online. It's inspiring. It's inspiring to see other people's work. All the shit that I'm doing, I'm taking it from somebody else. You know, I don't. I don't invent anything. I'm not happy with this shape. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, that's for the numbering. And why am I using the hashtag uh, 100, uh, 365 pixels? That's simply to, well, two reasons. First, people who see that I'm making a challenge can click on it and see my previous work. They could also click on my name and come to my Twitter and see the things that I posted. But if they click on the 365, there's a higher chance, a higher chance that they see what the, the recent pieces that I've posted, right? Whereas if they come on my page, they might see other stuff that I posted. That's not relevant. If they click on anything, it's because they like my pixel art, so I want to show them pixel art. I don't want to point them to my my, my uh, Twitter account especially because I might just tweet random text things and whatnot no it's not working um, Another reason why I'm I'm using I'm using the 365 hashtag is so I can go back and check them. I can click on this and see all the work that I've done on one page. I'm doing that on other. I'm doing the same kind of thing. Like on Tumblr, I'm using a a tag. I created a tag that's. 365 pixels so on tumblr I can click if I want to point you to all my work I can just go on tumblr select the tag and it creates a link for me that is my my tumblr page uh, with the specific uh, the posts on my page with the specific tag it's easy for for searching
this this dot is very important in defining the shape so I need to make sure I place it in the right spot I think this this is right and then I will have to place it uh, probably right here what else should I say about the pixel daily challenge So I mentioned the numbering, the, the the hashtag. Also, one thing that I do almost every day, but I wish I could do it every day, but it's time consuming, is I go to uh, the Pixel Daily account, well, the Pixel Daily hashtag actually, and I I try to go there every day and look at what people post, because if you, in case you're not familiar familiar with uh, Pixel Daily, uh, you. You, you create your pixel art piece on the topics of the day and then you post it and you mention the pixel daily account and you use the hashtag pixel ladies and uh, sometimes you get retweeted sometimes not most of the time you get a, a like from the the moderators of the pixel ladies so if you can yeah there are two ways to to view what people have posted. One is to go on the account, and one is to go on uh, on the hashtag. The hashtag you see everything that people posted. The the account you see what the the moderator felt like re retweeting. I go on the hashtag, so I see everything, and I try to I I look at everybody's uh, pixel art. I try to see which I try to recognize the names. If it's someone who's doing it every day, I will notice, and I will. Try to get to know what people to, to know people to know their art, you know. And I I like every post. The reason why I like I like every post is uh, to encourage people, you know. I want them to keep going. And uh, if everybody did that, I'm pretty sure more people would uh, participate in Pixel Days. I'm not liking the ones that I like. I'm just liking everybody's post. And if I really like it, I will post a comment or retweet it or something. Trying to figure out a way to put my highlight. I think it was better here, right? Where was it? Yeah. I'll leave it there. I think um I find it's not really a critique it's just a uh, something I noticed there's not a lot of interaction between the participants of pixel ladies and I'm guilty uh, guilty of it myself I don't comment enough on people's work it would be more fun if everybody was talking if it was a real community right now is people are a bit isolated and again, it's not a critique, it's just the way it is. I'm losing the shape, but I want to... Well, the, the shape was nice, but it was too close, and I want it to be rather like this. I need to work a little bit on it. This is probably better, actually. Yeah. What else should I say about the challenge? Uh, when I started, in case you're wondering, maybe uh, you are in a situation where you would like to try something similar and you are hesitating, and uh, I couldn't recommend you enough to do it. Because uh, it's always, well, depending on why you're doing it, of course, but if you're doing it for the same reason as I am, getting a little bit of recognition, uh, God, I've got tons of, of, recognition, of recognition since I started like I don't know if you can imagine but before doing this when I post if you take likes on Twitter as a, a reference for my uh, success I should say before doing this I had like less than 10 likes per per tweet you know and now I got like an average of something like 40 likes every day and people are commenting and 
It's great. I got a there's a conversation going now because people are come and talk to me and you don't get that if you stay on your alone on your computer and you don't post stuff. The, re, the only way to get people to notice your art is to post it, I guess. And my other objective to improve, I think I, I've improved a lot since I started. I've been going outside of my comfort zone pretty often since I started. And I'm very happy about it. And if you are afraid that you you would, uh, I don't know, get discouraged or something, maybe don't worry too much about the results. Do it because you want to do it. If there is the slightest uh, drive in you to do it, man, do it. Don't think too much about it. And if you're worried that you will get discouraged, it's understandable, you know. I, I When I started, I was worried that I would get discouraged. I was like, what would people think if I start? And I say, I start numbering them with uh, mentioning that I want to make uh, 365 of them. And then I, I change my mind or I get discouraged. What will people think of me? Well, in the end, it doesn't matter what people think of you. If, even if you do 20 of them and then you quit, just quit, man. If it's important to you that you stop doing it because you've got other more important things to do, it's okay. And if you get discouraged and you don't, don't feel bad about yourself, it happens to everyone. What, what would you prefer, to do 20 of them and then quit or do nothing because you're scared? If you think about it that way, there's uh, I think there's uh, a good that's a good incentive to do it, right? Just do it. And uh, in the end, I never got discouraged about this. Over the six months, not once have I forced myself to do it. And uh, if you don't put too much pressure on yourself, if you do it because you want to do it and you don't worry too much. And uh, it's all good, man. Just do it. What else could I add to this? I want to add details here. And I don't know what to do with this handle. I would like to define its volume by adding shadow, but I'm already pretty dark. I don't think I should do this, for instance, you know. Well, don't worry about the, the shape, just the color. Is there something else I wanted to talk about? I'm pretty sure there is, but I'm afraid I'm forgetting things. Uh, let me think. Uh, so I mentioned the numbering, why I do it, what I got from it. Uh, that I want you to do it. <laughs> Seriously, man, do it. Go for it. If you are, if you ever consider it, you should give it a, a try. And if you quit, it's okay. And you might be surprised how easy it is to just do it. Once you've started, you just 
It takes me what half an hour every day. It's not very demanding. Is this working? I guess it is. But I don't know, I liked it how it was before, you know. I like this. I'll try and I'll go back to the idea of adding uh, an extra darkest color like this. Or maybe, you know what? Maybe use a pattern instead of a shadow, that works also. Because, you know, what I wanted to do was break up this big shape. One way to do it is add a shadow or add a light. But another way is to just add another uh, base color, you know. Something like this. And I kind of like it, so I'll keep it like this. I might light it a little bit. All right, details here now. I will add it on another layer and create some shapes. Or maybe try and create this kind of sign right here with the brand. Oops. Should be here, right? Sad. It's, it's a bit sad that I'm losing the detail of that I had, but it's okay. Kill your darlings, as they say. Should be here. Here I'm creating random pixel clusters to to represent something is written over there. That's the way I do it. I create like this, this, or angles like this. Uh, I've done that one. Like this, you know what I mean? Isolated dots. It simulates a writing. It's an easy way to create a low resolution writing. Also about the, my, my year-round year challenge, I'm pretty sure that I won't stop after a year because I like it. I get so much out of it in terms of my career and in terms of per uh, personal level. I get a lot out of it, man. I want to keep doing it. So it's, I would probably keep going. We'll see, I don't know. It depends also on where I am in a year, well, in six months, I should say. By adding this line here, I'm creating the illusion that this is inset, that it's going inside the shape. So if, if this is the text and this is the side of uh, the drill, if they are on, same, on the same line, there wouldn't be a, a line under here, you know. But if, well, I should put it like this. But if I do this, 
all of a sudden the light will hit here. So I should add a... All I have to do to create the illusion that this is going in is creating a light, a line of light here. And if I wanted to give the illusion that it's coming out, I would do this, you know, create a shadow underneath. Because if it's coming outside of the shape, it's creating a shadow underneath. Another easy way to represent volume. I could, un I could, I could even uh, exaggerate it by using a light uh, yellow like this, just to force my point. I want this to be coming outside of the shape, so I will create a shadow. But I might lose the definition. Yeah, I'm losing the definition, so here I won't do that. I want it to stay clear. Is it shiny? Nah, it's not shiny. I could add something here, right? Some details. I don't want to... I don't want to add too many things. I want it to be kind of graphic. So I should probably not add something here, but maybe add some details on the back. Like, indicate that there is some kind of... Uh, of uh, some kind of grid in the back, like a ventilator or something. So I'm adding just lines to indicate that. And another thing I should probably do is improve the perspective. Oh, I'm on another layer, I forgot. I want to push the perspective by doing this. I, I believe it will help define the shape. Right? It's helping a little bit. It's, it's giving the illusion that this is rounded and in perspective. All right, is it done? I think it is. Yeah, it's probably done. I can break a little bit the tube shape if I can. Because right, right here, whoops, right here, the tube is a bit too obvious and I might want to break it a little bit. So, which is why I did this. And it's, wor I think it's working in my favor. Just random details here and there. Maybe this. Kind of like it. I would like to break this line, but I don't know how. Maybe I should try... This is probably what I should do. And uh, maybe darker? I make it lighter because it's on top and it's receiving all the light. But it's more graphic if I do it like this. It looks like a sci-fi gun, but <laughs> it's a sci-fi drill, okay? They got a drill in the future too, man. It's helping the define the volume, so I like it. I will keep it like this, I guess. All right, I will erase my swatches. Place it in the middle. It's roughly right. Okay, well guys, 
if you have any questions leave them in the comments and you can also come on your social media of choice and ask anything i will talk about anything you want me to talk about and i will see you tomorrow bye bye